Typhoid fever, symptoms, causes and treatment. Typhoid fever is a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi bacteria. It is a serious illness that spreads through contaminated food, water, or close contact with an infected person. Typhoid fever is prevalent in regions with poor sanitation and limited access to clean water. Once ingested, the bacteria multiply in the intestines and then spread into the bloodstream, causing a range of symptoms. Symptoms of typhoid fever High fever Typhoid fever is characterized by a sustained high fever that can reach up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The fever gradually increases over several days and remains persistent. Headaches, severe headaches are common and often accompany the high fever. Abdominal pain, abdominal discomfort and pain, especially around the area of the liver and spleen, are common symptoms. Weakness and fatigue, profound weakness and fatigue are experienced, leading to a significant decrease in energy levels. Gastrointestinal symptoms, typhoid fever, causes gastrointestinal issues such as constipation or diarrhea. Diarrhea, when present, is persistent and can be severe. Loss of appetite, there is a notable loss of appetite, leading to reduced food intake. Rose spots, in some cases, a rash called rose spots may appear. These are small, pink or red spots on the trunk and abdomen. Sore throat, a sore throat and difficulty swallowing can occur due to throat inflammation. Enlarged spleen and liver, the spleen and liver may become enlarged, leading to tenderness and discomfort in the upper abdomen. Causes of typhoid fever Contaminated food, typhoid fever is often spread through the consumption of food prepared by an infected person who hasn't washed their hands properly after using the toilet. Food items such as raw fruits and vegetables, which are eaten uncooked, can become contaminated if washed with contaminated water. Contaminated water, drinking water, contaminated with the Salmonella typhi bacterium is a common mode of transmission. This can happen in areas with poor sanitation, where sewage and drinking water systems are not separated adequately. Poor hygiene, direct or indirect contact with an infected person, can also spread the bacteria. This can occur through poor hygiene practices, such as not washing hands after using the toilet, changing diapers, or handling contaminated items. Carriers, some individuals can become carriers of the Salmonella typhi bacterium without showing symptoms of the disease. These carriers can continue to spread the bacteria to others through their stool or urine, even after they have recovered from the illness. Travel to endemic areas, traveling to regions where typhoid fever is prevalent, especially areas with inadequate sanitation and hygiene standards, increases the risk of exposure. Close contact with infected individuals, typhoid bacteria can also spread through close contact with an infected person. This can happen if an infected person handles food that is later consumed by others. Treatment of typhoid fever Typhoid fever, caused by the Salmonella typhi bacterium, requires prompt medical attention for proper treatment. Here are the key aspects of typhoid fever treatment. Antibiotics. The primary treatment for typhoid fever involves a course of antibiotics prescribed by a healthcare professional. Commonly used antibiotics include ciprofloxacin, ceftriaxone, and azithromycin. It is crucial to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed, even if symptoms improve, before the medication is finished. This helps ensure that all bacteria are eliminated from the body. Hydration, maintaining proper hydration is essential, especially if the patient is experiencing symptoms like diarrhea or vomiting, which can lead to dehydration. Drinking clean, safe water, oral rehydration solutions, and clear soups can help replace lost fluids and electrolytes. 
Nutritious diet. Despite a reduced appetite, it is important to consume a balanced and nutritious diet. Small, easily digestible meals that include rice, bananas, boiled potatoes, and toast can be helpful. Avoid spicy, fatty, or fried foods, as they can irritate the digestive system. Rest, adequate rest is crucial for the body to recover from the infection. Patients are advised to rest and avoid strenuous activities until they have fully recovered. Isolation and hygiene. Typhoid fever is contagious, so proper hygiene is important to prevent its spread. Patients should maintain good hygiene practices, including regular hand washing, and avoid preparing food for others until they are no longer contagious. Follow up care. After completing the antibiotic course, patients may need follow up tests to ensure the bacteria have been fully eradicated from the body. Vaccination. In regions where typhoid fever is prevalent, vaccines are available to prevent the infection. Travelers to high risk areas are often recommended to get vaccinated to reduce the risk of contracting the disease. Blood cultures. A blood culture is the definitive test for diagnosing typhoid fever. Blood samples are taken and incubated to check for the presence of Salmonella typhi bacteria. This test confirms the diagnosis and helps determine the specific antibiotic the bacteria are susceptible to, aiding in effective treatment. Early diagnosis and proper treatment are vital for managing typhoid fever effectively and preventing complications. If someone suspects they have typhoid fever or has been exposed to the bacteria, it's important to seek medical attention promptly.